Meghan Markle and Prince Harry must choose between being royal public servants or globe-trotting celebrity A-listers, according to a royal expert. Royal author Angela Levin said the couple are now approaching a significant crossroads in their married life and must choose between being celebrities or members of the royal family. She said, while their own relationship seems hunky-dory, the type of royal role they want to pursue appears increasingly confused, dutiful public servants or globe-trotting celebrity A-listers. Ms. Levin spent 15 months accompanying Prince Harry to royal engagements and was invited to Kensington Palace by the Duke of Sussex for a chat. During Ms. Levin's meeting with Harry he explained in detail the difference between being royal and famous. He also explained that he felt he had a sense of responsibility towards helping his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. He said, if you're born into the royal family, as we were, I think it's normal to feel as though you don't really want it. He also said he felt different to those who had risen to fame through their own talent. He added, they have a talent. We don't. We don't want to be just a bunch of celebrities but instead use our role for good. It's a narrow line between the two, but I am not going to cross it and go down the celebrity route. Ms. Levin said in the Daily Telegraph that Harry was dating Meghan at the time when she was still working as an actress in Suits. She also said the Sussexes may have crossed that celebrity line this month. She said, many people may feel that this month's private jet setting, four flights in 11 days on private planes, while the Cambridges, who are further up the royal ladder, took their brood on a budget airline, has rather crossed that celebrity line. Ms. Levin also said that Harry and Meghan must navigate their own royal journey but that she can't imagine the Duchess taking a back seat. She said, one can't imagine Meghan quietly taking a back seat, she is bursting with projects and ideas of all sorts, and Harry's hard partying days are far behind him. Both are ambitious, passionate philanthropists, their challenge is to use their fortunate position to make change, without appearing to take advantage of it. There is no doubt that their intentions are good, but the optics, of late, have been unfortunate. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were heavily criticized for taking private jets for their latest travels and some fear the couple is becoming too celebrity and need to focus on being royals. It's even been reported that Princess Diana would have been appalled by their behavior. Prince Harry and Markle are labeled hypocrites. The Sussexes were hit with some major criticism over their mode of transportation because they are always speaking out on environmental issues, a move many found to be hypocritical. A number of celebrities came to their defense, including Elton John, who explained that he was responsible for picking up the tab on their private plane to France. He wrote, in part, Prince Harry's mother, Diana Princess of Wales was one of my dearest friends. I feel a profound sense of obligation to protect Harry and his family from the unnecessary press intrusion that contributed to Diana's untimely death. He added, to support Prince Harry's commitment to the environment, we ensured their flight was carbon neutral, by making the appropriate contribution to carbon footprint. Should the Sussexes focus more on their royal role? As the debate wages on about whether Prince Harry and Markle have really done anything wrong, Plenty of experts have weighed in with their thoughts on the couple's behavior. Royal biographer Angela Levin, for one, believes the couple has to choose if they want to be part of the celebrity world or the royal one. Levin told The Telegraph how she thinks they should consider their increasingly confused royal role. She explained, while their own relationship seems hunky-dory, the type of royal role they want to pursue appears increasingly confused dutiful public servants or globe-trotting celebrity A-listers. Levin continued, noting, one can't imagine Meghan quietly taking a back seat, she is bursting with projects and ideas of all sorts, and Harry's hard partying days are far behind him. The challenge, Levin shares, is that the couple is ambitious, passionate philanthropists adding, their challenge is to use their fortunate position to make change, without appearing to take advantage of it. There is no doubt that their intentions are good, but the optics, of late, have been unfortunate. The couple's fourth trip by private jet in 11 days seemed to be a tipping point for many, as the biographer noted that they may have crossed that celebrity line.
Of course, Prince William, Kate Middleton, and their children opting to fly on a budget airline from Norwich to Aberdeen in the same week only made the Sussexes look that much more like celebrities. Prince Harry once spoke of crossing that line. Levin spent 15 months accompanying Prince Harry on his royal engagements and had the opportunity to chat with him. The biographer noted that he spoke about the difference between being royal and being famous. Prince Harry explained, if you're born into the royal family, as we were, I think it's normal to feel as though you don't really want it. By comparison, he said there's a difference between that fame and those who have a talent to rise to fame. He continued, we don't want to be just a bunch of celebrities but instead use our role for good. It's a narrow line between the two, but I am not going to cross it and go down the celebrity route. Did the Sussexes cross that celebrity line?